Hey friends, Snibs again. Just out at the range doing a little bit of planking. Just got done mowing the lawn at the church, the old church building. Uh, we're trying to sell that building, but uh, grass was getting pretty high over there, so I loaded up the lawnmower and head over and mowed that up real quick tonight. But grabbed a couple of guns and brought them with me and uh, figured out how to do a, a video or two for you guys on these while I've got them out. So this particular one is a pretty neat old gale. It's a uh, Winchester model 1890. Um, this particular one wasn't made anywhere near 1890, but uh, it's, uh, I think, if I recall right, this one was oh, 1935 by the serial number. <clears throat> this one is chambered in just 22 short. Um, so the way that the uh, 1890 actions always worked, uh, the way that the, the feed mechanism worked, it was specific to the very, uh, to the case length. So it was either 22 short or 22 long or 22 long rifle. Um, when they came out with the uh, the 1906, they had a little uh, updated design, I guess you call it updated, uh, that would allow for uh, shorts, longs, or long rifles. Um, they also did make the uh, 1890 in uh, the, the Winchester WRF, uh, which is uh, the smaller, less powerful version of what be ended up becoming the 22 Magnum. So. Um, but just like the, uh, um, so they had a, the 1890 came out first and they came out with the 1906. Uh, they had the updated uh, feed system that would allow for the three different types. Uh, and then they came out with a, a model 62 and a 62A. Um, I don't know what changed on the 62 and 62A from the 1906. Uh, I do have couple copies of each of those but uh, so far uh, I don't know what, what they changed but uh, so this one's pretty fun just shooting the CB shorts uh. That steel gong is a lot more fun than that steel plate. I know that's for sure. Um, but these uh, these little CB shorts shoot really nice out of this gun. Um, they uh, very accurate. I am only shooting out to 25 yards here. I didn't bother going out to to 50. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to shoot offhand and not shoot and not be too. Uh, worried about missing or not missing so um, so if you see this little carrier I don't know if you be able to see it but this little carrier that's down inside of here is uh, and these ones are specific to the length and a lot of these uh, ones that were in, in short um, had been modified over the years you could drill out that center piece and then have the chamber reamed out and then it would be able to shoot a uh, standard 22 long rifle but this particular one is still original so I like that oh I missed one there it is I think I shot right underneath it. I think that was the last one. Yep. So, anyway, got the uh, camera moved a little bit back because uh, got the sun where I normally sit at the bench over there is right in your face. So, would have been all washed out. Wouldn't have been able to see anything. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'd really like to find a tang site for this one, but they're, they're not giving those away anymore. So, 
I'm going to work on that, but uh, it is uh, it does have a drill and tap. I'm actually, missing the screw there right now, but it's drilled and tapped so you can mount a uh, tang sight on this one. Um, this one is quite accurate, even with the uh, just the blade on the on the barrel. So I'd really like to uh, maybe put it through a little bit more uh, paces with the peep sight. Um, I can definitely use a peep sight better than I can the <coughs> buckhorn sight. So anyway, um, there's my Winchester model 1890. A um, little later production. I don't know when they stopped making these in the 40s, I believe. So. They made them for a pretty good long time, uh, but uh, this one was made, from what I can recall, in the 30s. Um, so it's still a good old timer. Um, so, anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.